Hi Toys, this is Marishi on my channel Tulaka. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which wanted to come through for this week. We've got the Eight of Wands in reverse as your first card. We've got the Three of Wands in reverse. Center of the reading is an Emperor. We've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. And the last card is a Moon card. Behind the deck is the Hierophant. When I broke the deck, we have got the Princess of Swords in reverse. Torians. There is an energy about, I don't want to fight anymore. I just don't want to fight anymore. I'm going to surrender to the situation. Okay, Which makes complete sense when the person whom you're dealing with is coming as this very fiery energy, very aggressive energy, somebody who is very, um, like, you know, always on a fight mode. They always want to fight. They always want to argue. Somebody is done with all this uh, conflicts, this conflictual energy. Somebody is just done. Somebody is just wanting to be done and surrender. Hmm? They're tired. They're tired of fighting. Some of you Taurians might be dealing with an Aries person, a Cancerian another Taurus or any air sign person okay okay it has been a struggle it has been a challenge to put up with this person always there is some kind of an argument argument with this person it's almost like it's their way of life hmm? within this marriage okay they you might be married as well okay we've seen the emperor here it's always um, being in this constant uh, bickering yeah? that kind of thing yeah always no, it gets tired after some time. Okay, that is why I get this feeling that somebody is just uh, done. Just tired. Because hmm? we don't see it going anywhere. One of you has this very arrogant... Okay, it could be the same person. Okay, this Princess of Swords and the uh, Emperor could be the same person. Um, no, it's a different person. It's another person. Anyways, you would know. Uh, there is a power play as well. Okay, I want to stress on this. There is a power play um, between these two individuals. One person thinks it's okay or I can get away with this kind of attitude. Okay, this constant bickering is almost like they're entitled to this kind of uh, attitude with the other person. They're entitled, like it's all right. They can do it, so they will do it. It's already annoying me. It's all, uh, and I always say, because the emperor is looking at the, at the moon card. So it's almost, it's, it's, it's an illusion. Okay. They think, they can get away with this but that is all an illusion because they cannot see beyond their arrogance oh <laughs> actually owing to me yeah they cannot see beyond the arrogance Uh, 
the, uh, when I spoke about the power play, this person thinks it is in their hand. Okay, it this relationship, how uh, they go about it, it is up to them. Like the other person doesn't have a say in it. Okay. These two cards are a little freaky. It's a little scary because this person is not actually considering it. They are not, whoever this emperor is, is not knowing or realizing the gravity of their actions. How much they might as well screw up their own life with this attitude of theirs because they are blinded okay they are pretty much blinded right now they are under if things are not working I, i'll give you um what i'm saying if things are not working out okay there might be these bickerings uh, constant bickerings which is happening between uh, the relationship or in this marriage okay and this person is very arrogant to resolve it because they think it doesn't matter because I still have a power over the other person that person is not going to go anywhere but that is all a fiction actually okay this person is very arrogant that how much ever they screw up eventually they will be able to yeah uh, what i'm seeing is a cat which jumps out of the balcony and still lands on its four feet okay just one second yeah try throwing a cat out of the i haven't tried sorry <laughs> peter sorry no i haven't tried it but I've seen cats jumping out of the balcony. Okay? Second floor. But it still lands on its four feet. I don't know how that is possible. And it walks away actually. This is how this person thinks. How much of it they screw up. They're still going to land on their four feet. This emperor just only have two feet, but still, you get what I'm trying to say. Hmm? They will uh, get out of any situation unscathed without any bruises. Hmm? So it's all right for them to pull any bullshit on others and then behave like it was okay. It, it never happened. Like it's just another day. This is the attitude which uh, which is coming through, and it's it's annoying. It is just annoying because uh, they are the un they are under the impression things will still resolve anyhow. It's just an illusion actually. It's just an illusion. Because eight of wands in reverse, things can stop. Okay? The other person might be done. With the three of wands in reverse, it's it's like one person not wanting to come back. Okay? This per this emperor is looking away, expecting eventually. This person will return. Okay? Things will heal by itself. Things but will re resolve by itself. But this moon card is very important in this reading. It's all the illusions. Okay? It's all the um there is a veil in front of this person. It's high time they pull it uh, pull it off from the eyes. Otherwise they are they're not seeing the things clearly uh, clearly. Oh my god. Just they cannot see with clarity. Hmm? The arrogance is so much that they are very overconfident. 
because this might have happened before like I said constant bickering constant fights constant arguments they have they might have pulled it off every time the partner might have you know give in every time so they know it's normal it's all right it's not going to be a big thing they will eventually agree with me and then I will have whatever I want this has been constant but don't rely on your luck every time hmm? very strong message for some of you because my ears was going crazy so okay moving on very strong um okay this is a way this person is coming out it's the same person actually very childish this arrogance is very childish as well fight mode anyways moving on the hierophant and the king of pentacles there is no stability within this relationship the structure is already shaking It wouldn't take too much time for things to come to an end. And this person is still under the illusion that they're still going to land on their four feet. Yeah. Things are draining out. Okay, whatever was there once upon a time, it's draining out. Like I said, how, how much, there is a limit to people taking bullshit. It doesn't matter you married to me. Yeah, I cannot live with you day in and day out. If you constantly bicker, constantly argue, constantly want to fight. If that is a way of life, fuck off. That, that, that's not the way I want to live. Hmm? And that would be, you know, calling it quits. To the eight of wands in reverse. I don't want to move with a life like this. No. Hmm? Three of Wands, don't expect me to, you know, come back or resolve the situation every time in your dreams. Okay? You know, if the equilibrium is crossed, people will react. Okay? When they're done, they will react. It's, it's almost like retaliating that that is it okay you don't want to go there I'm just warning whoever this person is you don't really want to go there don't be under the impression luck is going to be on your side every time or you have the power over this person just because you are in a relationship with this person and they cannot live at, uh, without you that is just in your head hmm? get out remove the whale high time okay somebody will make a decision that it is not working out it is not good enough it is not strong enough it is not secure enough for you know taking it into the future okay because the love is draining out how much ever you fight the love you know drains out because all when they think about you is they see you like this in the bitch mode actually which is not a nice impression two swords somebody is making a decision Whew. okay six of cups regards to how things are going on in the past okay and we have got the seven of cups as well in regards to what was being offered from your end with these two cards uh, together, what was being offered, what was draining out, what you had in the past, what you had between the two of you in the past. Someone is literally assessing and making a decision based on this. Okay? I'm telling you, somebody has been pushed to the edge. Yeah. And they don't like it. They don't like how things are right now. They might have options as well. And they're thinking about options. 
You're very overwhelmed right now. Hmm? You're very much overwhelmed. And um, what do I say? This person is thinking about how things are right now and how things are not working right now. Okay? We are very hurt. The heart is actually bleeding because the way this empress or this little witch is actually, you know, pushing the daggers in the heart every time. Okay? Constant fights can, uh, can make the difference. Okay? Make the gap uh, bigger and bigger. And you know about it. You, you're very much aware. Okay? They might make it um, they might have said it already. Okay, the, if this is how it's going to be, why are you even with me? Why are we together? Okay, because we are both hurting each other. Is that is that how it should be? Or this person is just thinking, what needs to be done about the situation? Since it's not working out, every time I have to go back to this person and apologize when it's not even my fault. They're the one who started it. They're the one who said, you know, crap about me, okay? Why should I resolve everything every time when it's not even my fault? I'm fed up, okay? All that is coming through. I'm telling you, uh, the love is just draining out, okay? And this time, this person is not even willing to ask, um, sorry, is not willing to even offer an apology or even call it truce. No, not this time because they have started to think how things are. That should be scary, okay? Whoever this is, whoever who thinks, you know, it's going to be all right. You should be scared right now, okay? You need to reevaluate the way you are dealing with your partner. Yes, think logically. Some of you, so, um, Taurians, some of you might be dealing with a very strong air sign person, okay? Or this person is being asked to re-evaluate how, you know, think logical, think practical, okay? Use your head in regards to how things should be. What are you doing wrong? You cannot be in this bitch mode anymore. This is not working working out it might have seemed childish the first time second time third time fourth time fifth time it's a little too much for this person hmm? they are done playing along they are done apologizing when it's not their fault okay you, so, someone really needs to grow up i'm just putting it bluntly because it's a, it's a little annoying because you are going to lose out on your partner if this is the way this is the arrogance which you're going to hold on to it you know this is a vest which you're wearing with this whole arrogance thinking this person would never leave you you are going to be so wrong okay and you yes a judgment will be you know a verdict will be made regards to your relationship okay did we start off with a hierophant and yes the king of pentacles if it if something of structure is falling apart Okay, and the person who, who you're dealing with realizes this is not working out for them. Okay, in the long run, they are going to call quits. Okay, they are going to say it out loud if they haven't said because they are already thinking. This is not what I want. Hmm? Queen of Wands in reverse and the Prince of Pentacles. This is the other person's story, okay? One person thinks... Whoever this person is, the princess of uh, princess of uh, swords and reverse, or emperor energy, whoever it is, this person really thinks they can get whatever they want. We have a cat, little cat, sitting on her lap. Okay, just what I was saying about, you know, the cat jumping off the balcony and you know landing on the four feet. This is how this person is. Mm? The queen of wands is coming out in reverse. This person is very determined, who is very manipulative, who will go to any extent to get what they want. That is a characteristic of the person I'm speaking about who's literally screwing up their own life. Okay? Who's going to lose everything if they keep up 
with this attitude of theirs. Princes of Pentacles in reverse, they still think they still have a chance. Okay, they can pull it off. Okay, they can still uh, restart something which has stopped. Okay, because they have this confidence about them, in them actually. Uh, it's, it's almost like they think they are the literal devil. Maybe this person is very pretty or something, but the other person would just not let go of them. Okay, they have this, um, what do I say? Maybe they are not pretty. It's it's just, you know, they have this hook. What is it? They have this control over the other person. Okay, they have them wrapped around their little finger. If that makes sense that confidence within them that the other person how much ever i disgrace them or how much ever i insult them they're still never going to let me uh, you know let go of me no because they're attached to me that kind of a confidence yeah. and some some people might be okay um okay i'm just going to put it out there uh, some will be very confident okay the way they will um, resolve okay if they feel like things are going out of the hand the way they will resolve is by sex okay getting intimate and then you know healing the situation that is their technique actually okay when when they feel like things are go going out of hand they will rely on getting intimate okay that is their technique actually to start over again when things seems to be uh, falling apart when things seems to be slipping out of the hand their technique is to get intimate with the partner who is pissed okay and when they get intimate with them they're like okay Let's try again. That kind of a thing, okay? But yet, okay, that was a weird one to come through, but uh, five cups and the princess of cups in reverse. There is so much regret, so much disappointment which is going through, okay? Someone is, someone, uh, this is the other person, okay? Someone is very much disappointed, okay? A little overwhelmed. Even uh, when this person does this, okay, does this, the, the other person is very well aware of what they're up to. They are not foolish. They very well know they are clutching onto you know, the last drop. Hmm? And now this person is starting to actually re-evaluate things okay they're very much disappointed at how things are they're starting to evaluate whether they do actually have anything between the two of you uh, like they're starting to assess was there love in the first place or not or was it just you know was it always like this or it just you know, gradually started to be uh, like this between the two of us. Like the constant bickering, did it start from the very start or it was just recent? That kind of energy. Again, this person is very much going back into the past and assessing how it was before. Did, not, did I not see it? How this person was to me initially? Did I overlook it or did it just start recently? Okay, so much. Because everything is not right around them. Okay, between them. Because the world is uh, falling apart. Something, something is shattering. Okay, when they realize something, uh, 
this princess of cups in reverse she's actually looking at a cup and when when they realized there wasn't much in there okay the literal world is shattered whatever they thought they had okay this person thought they had between them when they, when they feel like it was never there that is a little painful right you got the king of swords and the two of wands someone is like literally uh, very in this confrontational mode okay very much like you know thinking very justly very fair very logically you know putting things you know breaking down things and seeing things as it is with clarity without being biased they are looking at things as it is they are not involving their heart they don't want to have a biased way of uh, perception and they realize this is not going anywhere with the two of wands with this person hmm? high priestess and the wheel card in reverse and the four of wands oh my <sighs> they don't trust their intuition that things will go around okay things will uh, you know buck up with the four of wands someone doesn't trust their intuition anymore hmm? when they uh, because they, they they have some kind of a clarity okay breaking down things as it is seeing this is not going to go anywhere hmm? listening to the higher self they don't want to listen to the higher self that things are not going back to where it was before okay because this has already fallen apart the four of wands the structure has already fallen apart we started off with the hierophant and the king of pentacles in reverse something is not stable anymore something is not solid anymore hmm? they still want to they still want to uh, you know heal uh this relationship again okay, whatever they had but yet when they look at it they don't see it working out with the wheel card in reverse and the four of wands they don't see things you know turning around in their favor okay things turning around according to how they wanted it to be okay according to how they wished it to be this loving energy because you dealing with a little bitch here so yeah it's a you know literal aggressive you know childish who wants to fight who just wants to fight at the drop of hand any small thing they just flare up <sighs> but someone is still keeping up at uh, the faith okay in getting back together although it doesn't seem very much stable they are just trying to console themselves um that it's going to be all right okay cuz i also want to say uh, they don't have an option like they trying to although they have started thinking okay the seed has already started growing in their head this is how it is okay but yet we are hoping we are wishing something might change okay literally trying to convince themselves console themselves things will get better okay things will get much better with the lovers and the uh two of cups the the bond between the two of them will get better that's what they're hoping for although right now it doesn't seem to be going anywhere hmm you might have a family together as well or um you don't see it going um uh, to having this beautiful family in the future hmm? yes four of cups and the six of swords somebody um is in the mind state that they don't want to actually compromise or take it anywhere okay um my advice is whoever is the emperor 
whoever is this princess of swords if you're listening to me right now and if you think this reading was yours okay and this is how it is between you and your partner and if you think you you will be able to uh, as always make it work eventually you, uh, and if if you are the person who is wrong okay and if you feel there is a shift in the other person then you need to be a little anxious right now hmm? because they are starting to think and reevaluate whether they have to be with you or not if this is how it is going to be from you know you need to understand this person better because they are not liking how you are um, behaving hmm? so uh, yes yeah, so just be a little mindful mindful about the way you treat them because it's not going well okay so this is it um amarish and next week bye bye